Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Geography with Joy. This is Suva Lakshmi and I hope you all are doing well. Friends, today we are going to discuss about waste accumulation and its impact on life as well as on the environment. It's a major concern in the modern days and it has to be addressed. But before addressing that, let's learn about what is called waste accumulation and how it affects us. Impact of waste accumulation Wherever there is life, there is activity and in most cases, wherever there is activity, it generates waste. The rapid pace of modernization has compelled us to move towards urbanization and industrialization for sound economic growth. This has given birth to unsustainable consumption of resources, which has resulted in huge generation of waste material. Now the question is, what is waste? Any substance, solid, liquid or gaseous that is no longer safe for use or serves any purpose is discarded and is termed as a waste. Waste is also known as trash, ravish, refuse, garbage, junk, etc. Waste are produced in our day-to-day -day life and during any kind of production of goods and services. Thus, the natural environment, be it land, air or water, is no longer free from waste. Waste is a necessary evil for all kinds of development. Have a look at this picture. This is the dumping of solid waste in the landfill. Dumping of solid waste not only gives an ugly look and foul smell, but also causes serious health hazards. Sometimes the outbreak of epidemics takes place due to the accumulation of waste, particularly near the water bodies. Improper methods of waste dumping have the following impact on the environment and they are spoilage of landscape, pollution, it may be air, water or soil pollution, health hazards and loss of terrestrial and aquatic life. Now let's discuss about these impacts of waste accumulation elaborately. Spoilage of landscape. Much of the world's solid waste is simply dumped onto the vacant land and left to decompose. Open dumps not only ruin the natural beauty of the land but also provide a home to rats and other disease carrying organisms. Due to unending dumping, these areas emanate foul smell and also spoil the visual appeal of a place. Both open dumps and landfills may contain poisonous substances that seep into the groundwater or flow into streams and lakes. Many wetlands have got choked because of algae formation due to the contamination from nitrate fertilizers. Waste collected from industries, mines and hospitals, etc. may contain toxic material which may cause spoilage of land for agricultural purposes and may contaminate the groundwater. Have a look at this picture. This is a complete spoilage of landscape. It also contaminates the water. If the groundwater is contaminated, it may have a long-term impact on soil. It may even enter into the food chain through water and soil pollution. 
pollution pollution is the introduction of harmful material into the environment it is a process of making air water soil etc impure and is not safe and suitable to use thus pollution is an unfavorable modification of natural world caused entirely or partly by direct or indirect actions of human beings substances causing pollution are called pollutants accumulation of waste is probably the most visible form of pollution every year human beings dispose of billions of metric tons of solid waste the main sources of waste are domestic commercial industrial municipal and agricultural waste agriculture and the food processing industry are considered to be the largest contributors to the total annual production of solid waste large piles of garbage lead to pollution of air water and soil now let's discuss about these pollutions briefly but individually look at this image the air is getting polluted so pathetically from a factory the most common hazards of air pollution are acid rain global warming ozone depletion and smog formation water pollution the contamination of water with soluble sewage and industrial waste is called water pollution the pollutants can be anthropogenic or natural anthropogenic pollutants are sewage pesticides oil spills industrial waste chemical thermal power plants and nuclear plant waste heavy metals like mercury lead arsenic copper etc and the natural pollutants are silt by river erosion rocks gravels from landslides volcanic organic components etc groundwater pollution groundwater may also be polluted through a variety of sources they are leaching of pollutants like nitrates insecticides etc leaching of pollutants from garbage dumps and leaching from septic tanks and polluted tanks the pollutant that moves down is called leachate which pollutes the aquifer sometimes excessive pumping of groundwater might lead to cavity formations saline seawater might enter into the cavity from close by areas and contaminate drinking water eutrophication eutrophication is the process of depletion of oxygen from water bodies occurring either naturally or due to human activities have a look at this picture this is the condition of eutrophication the process of eutrophication takes place due to the introduction of nutrients and chemicals through ditches of domestic sewage industrial effluents and fertilizers from agricultural fields if oxygen light and heat into water body is reduced it causes death of most of the aquatic organisms and this is the soil pollution let's learn about this now soil pollution the contamination of soil with excess of chemicals fertilizers insecticides herbicides is known as soil pollution the decrease in the quality of soil either due to human activities 
or natural sources or by boat is known as soil pollution or soil degradation. The soil pollution is caused due to soil erosion, decrease in plant nutrients, decrease in soil microorganisms, excess or deficit of moisture content, high fluctuation of temperature and lack of humus content. The sources of soil pollution can be categorized in the following ways. They are physical, biological, airborne and urban and industrial sources. Physical sources are like soil erosion, volcanic eruption, etc. Biological sources, the microorganisms, bacteria and protozoa. Airborne sources, thermal power plants, industry and factory waste products. Urban and industrial sources, urban waste degrade the soil properties, urban switch pollute the soil. Biomagnification Biomagnification is the increasing buildup of toxic substances within organisms that happens at each stage of the food chain. The picture is a diagrammatic representation of biomagnification. Biomagnification happens in all ecosystems and food chains. In aquatic ecosystems, toxins get consumed by smaller species like zooplankton, which are in turn consumed by smaller fishes. The toxins then travel through larger fishes and to humans and birds in such a way that it affects every trophic level. These toxins like DDT which enter into animal or the human body through the food chain can get deposited as adipose tissues which when oxidized release the toxins into the body. Now let's find out the health hazards from waste accumulation. Waste that is not properly managed is a serious health hazard. Accumulation of waste is a result of inefficient infrastructure of waste disposal and affects the human health and spreads infectious diseases. Unattended waste dumped in the open attracts flies, rats and other creatures that act as vectors of the disease and spread them among human beings. Waste dumped near a water source percolates through the soil into the water bodies and contaminates the water. Choking of drains and gully pits by the solid waste results in water logging, especially during the rainy season. The water logging results in breeding of mosquitoes in the stagnant water which spread diseases like malaria and chikungunya. Organic domestic waste pose a serious threat since they ferment and create conditions favorable for the survival and growth of pathogens. Direct handling of solid waste can result in various types of infectious and chronic diseases affecting the workers and rack pickers. Recycling may also cause great risk for workers as they may experience toxic exposure. Disposal of hospital and medical waste creates serious health hazards through different diseases due to contaminated food and drink or inhalation. Agricultural and industrial waste cause serious chemical and radioactive hazards to human life. Effects on terrestrial life Accumulation of solid waste looks ugly, smell foul, attract insects, rats and other animals 
that spread diseases. Sanitary landfills produce methane and carbon dioxide which are harmful for human settlement. Waste accumulation has dangerous effect on plants growth and its life. Air contaminated with ozone has irritant qualities and is responsible for pulmonary changes, edema and hemorrhage in dogs, cats and rabbits. Fluoride contamination takes place through forage crops. These crops when eaten continuously may cause fluorosis. Look at this picture. This is a common site near a garbage dump. Animals sometimes consume toxin or non-degradable substances like plastic carry bags present in the waste and die due to choking. Fluorides have reportedly caused diarrhea, weight loss, lowered fertility and reduced milk production in cattle. Birds feeding on agricultural waste suffer from defective axles and increased mortality. Have a look at this cow. The cow is suffering from skin disease because of the consumption of polluted food. Let's have a quick glance at the effects on aquatic life. Waste accumulation can cause significant damage to aquatic life, both freshwater and marine. Deposition of hazardous waste may lead to acidity of ocean water. Acidic water is lethal to aquatic life. Toxin present in the waste can kill aquatic organisms directly by sufficiently changing the pH of water covering the water surface and causing a reduction in dissolved oxygen. The aquatic organisms are also affected by biomagnification. Mercury in water can cause abnormal behavior, slower growth, reduced reproduction and even death among the marine organisms. Look at this picture. Workers are cleaning oil spill on water. Oil spills occur due to leakage in submerged oil pipelines, wars, accidents, refinery operations, offshore oil production, routine loading and discharging operations at a dock, or deposition of turbals when ships clean their tanks and flush the refuse. Oil spills adversely affect fishing and tourism. Besides, large number of marine birds, fishes and mammals perish completely. Oil being a sticky mass prevents birds from flying and chokes their respiratory system. Have a look at this bird. This is a big dead black cormoran seabird which was washed off on a polluted sea beach after an oil spill in the sea. Marine birds eating fish that have digested plastic cause poisoning and killing marine wildlife. And here we end up our discussion today. I hope you have gone through my video and understood the topic very well. In my next video, we will discuss about the need for waste management and how to make a safe disposal of waste. Stay connected. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more updates and of course, please like and share my video as well. Thanks for watching. See you again with a new update. Till then, take care and have a good day.